name is Bunny Lady, and this is my partner, Teddy Bear. Teddy for short. High five? Can you do it? Good job. Good job. And today, we're going to talk about rabbit cages. How much space does your rabbit really need, and when can you get rid of the cage altogether? If you are new to our channel, welcome. We give tips and tricks for how to make sure you have a happy and healthy bunny in your home. So if that's the kind of thing that you're interested in, go ahead and hit that subscription button and the notification bell next to it so you never miss any of our weekly videos. Most of the time, cages that are sold and marketed towards rabbits are actually much too small for them. But rabbits are actually very active creatures. So when they only have a tiny space to live in, it ends up really decreasing the quality of their life. It can make them overall more depressed. It can also make them overall more destructive because they get frustrated being in such a small space. It can also be bad for their health because moving around helps keep their digestion going and it keeps them overall healthy. <laughs> Look at this happy bunny. Oh my goodness. Having large enough space will keep your rabbit overall a lot happier and <laughs> I love you, I love you. <laughs> My rabbits are baking around right now. I wish you could see it. So the first step to this is making sure that you give them a large enough living space. Now I will talk about free roaming rabbits a little bit later, which is when you don't even need a cage or enclosure at all. But first I will talk about the amount of space that you do want to make sure your rabbit has um, if you are using some kind of enclosure. You don't want to think of it as a cage for your rabbit. You want to think of it more as a home, some place that you will keep your rabbit when you can't supervise them. When you can supervise them, they should have access to a much larger area, a much larger exercise area. So since rabbits come in many different sizes, there's no exact size of an enclosure that's gonna be perfect for your rabbit. Instead, you need to go uh, by the length of your rabbit. So you want your rabbit's enclosure to be at least three to four times the entire length of your rabbit and about two times the width and you also want the rabbits to be able to stand up on their hind legs all the way up on their tippy toes without bumping the top of their head. So you really do need to take your own rabbit size into consideration. You can measure your rabbit when they're laying down like sprawled out on their side, measure them from the tip of their toes to their nose and see how long that is. Multiply that by four to get the length of your enclosure and by two to get the width and those are the minimum dimensions that you want. Now, of course, bigger is always better. You can make the enclosure as big as you want it to be and your rabbit will definitely be happier for it. <laughs> now, if you get to this point and you realize that your rabbit's space is actually too small and you need to do something to increase the size, then there are some simple ways to address this. The easiest way is to switch over to using an exercise pen, a pet exercise pen, instead of a rabbit cage. Since most rabbit cages, the ones marketed towards rabbits, are actually much too small and are better suited for much smaller pets, you really want to go towards actually the dog section of a pet store um, and you can get these pet exercise pens. Um, they're usually going to be like eight panels. It'll give you four feet by four feet. So that's actually a good amount of space for an enclosure for most rabbits. Um, very large rabbits will still need more than this, but you can also, the way these work, you can also just attach multiple pens to each other to make the space even bigger. So instead of just getting one pen, you can get two pens. If your rabbit seems kind of attached to their current cage, you can also get one of these pens and just like attach it with uh, twisty ties or clips, like carabiners or something. Attach it to the outside of the, their original cage and then now they have a permanent kind of yard <laughs> for their cage that they can go in and out of at will. And while these exercise pens are definitely my first choice because they're actually a lot easier to clean, you can get like the 48 inch dog crates That'll be a good size for smaller rabbits. Or you can get multi-level hutches. Uh, these tend to be a little bit more expensive though. So <laughs> honestly, getting an uh, exercise pen for a rabbit instead of a cage, it's cheaper. Usually you can get these things for less than 50 bucks, whereas actual big cages um, 
that are actually a good size for a rabbit are so much more expensive. They can go for hundreds of dollars. So my recommendation is definitely the exercise pen. The other, the other option that can sometimes come in relatively cheap is using DIY storage cubes and creating your rabbit's enclosure. And you can even add like multi-levels as long as, you know, make sure everything is supported enough to hold your rabbit's weight. But this way, your rabbit can have even more vertical space as well as um, just the floor space. But now let's talk about whether or not you really need an enclosure for your rabbit. Now most of the time, if you haven't had rabbits before, I do actually recommend getting an enclosure to start with, getting an exercise pen, and keeping your rabbit there. Because rabbits can be little troublemakers, <laughs> and you do want to make sure that you can supervise them and keep them out of trouble to start with. However, once you get used to your rabbit's personality, once you get used to the kind of trouble they get into, you've fully rabbit-proofed your home, um, if you want more information about rabbit proofing, I do have a video you can check out. Um, uh, it's one of those things like, you know, how you have to child proof a home that you have a kid in. You have to do the same thing for rabbits, you know, make sure that they can't chew on anything dangerous or dig into anything that will be destructive, you know. But eventually, for most rabbits, you can actually start to free roam them. Now, free roaming is when you basically treat your rabbit like a cat or a dog, where you allow them to roam the house and become like a companion pet. And you don't have to supervise them all the time because you have done the work of making sure your rabbit can't get into any trouble. Now, of course, this does depend on your rabbit's personality. Some rabbits will be more destructive than others and will need more supervision, in which case it's probably more difficult to free roam them. Sometimes also it will depend on your living situation. Um, maybe you live in an apartment and you are really worried about your rabbit destroying something that you'll end up needing to pay for uh, when you move out. Or maybe if you live in just a small area, you don't want to free roam your rabbit because there's just not as much ability to keep things out of your rabbit's reach. Like if you live in a studio apartment or something like that. So you do need to take your lifestyle and your rabbit's personality into account before you free roam your rabbit, but that is also an option. And if you've had your rabbit a while, it's really something to start thinking about. Um, I do have a video going over the steps to free roam your rabbit, because it's, it's really difficult to just go from having your rabbit in enclosure to then all of a sudden your rabbit is allowed to be free all the time. It's usually best to take it step by step. So check that video out if that's something you're interested in. Overall, that is the best way to make sure that your rabbit has enough space, um, they get enough exercise, they can roam around and be, be as happy and have a, the highest possible quality of life if they can have more space. So check out that video if you know, you're ready to take that jump and you're ready to start free roaming your rabbit. Because sometimes rabbit enclosures are necessary, but you know, you can definitely make your rabbit a much larger part of your life, make them more like a companion if you can free roam them and just get rid of the cage altogether. And don't forget to check out some of my funny bunny shirts. <laughs> you can check out at my you can check out my merch. Um, I'll put a link in the description. Um, I have t-shirts, uh, all kinds of t-shirts, tanks, sweat sweatshirts, uh, mugs, bags. You can check it out, see if you like any of the designs. Uh, and thank you so much for watching. I do hope that we will see you next time.